Hi everyone. Today we are here with another role play. So this role play is about a 79 year old man who has been admitted in the hospital with a mild heart attack. So his doctor has advised him to take a angiogram and he is really nervous. Nervous and he is worried and he mm. does not know why he needs to do an angiogram. Yes. Yes. He is completely unaware about mm -hmm. what an angiogram is. And he even wants to take a second opinion, right? Yes. Okay, now we'll see how the role play goes. Yeah. All right, we'll start the role play. Okay. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning. My name is Tina Thomas and I'm the registered nurse working in this coronary care unit. Mm -hmm. You look to be pretty worried and, yes. and you feel a little upset, I guess. Yes, because the mm -hmm. doctor asked me to do some uh, procedure called angiogram. Uh -huh. And I'm really scared of the procedure, see. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I don't think it is necessary. Okay, I certainly understand from your perspective, Thomas. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, that's why I'm here to help you out. In fact, the doctor came and told me to talk to you regarding the procedure. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why I have come to visit you. Okay, mm -hmm. so you were telling... Why is it even necessary? The thing is, uh, Thomas, today you got admitted to the hospital because you were having a small abnormal rhythm in your heart. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we just suspected that you are having a small heart attack, but we oh. got it confirmed with your blood reports also. Your blood reports also showed that you ha you are having a high possibility of heart attack. But uh, what is this which you are going to do, the procedure? Yes, I will tell you regarding the procedure. Actually, the procedure which you are going to do is not that painful. Most of the people have a thought, you know, when you are going to do this procedure, it is going to be very painful, but no, we are going to sedate you. So you won't be knowing even a itsy bitsy of thing what's going to happen, okay? okay? And then the second thing is we are going to insert a small tube, very mm. small tube okay. that is through your wrist or through your groin with a small camera attached so that we can see your heart and the veins and the arteries that is surrounding your heart. So that is what we are going to see to know whether there is any blockage in your capillaries or, or in your arteries. Oh, okay. okay, but the doctor told me that I, I'm, I have some serious complications. I mean, no. I might have some serious uh, complications. No, the doctor suggested because whenever we are telling you a procedure, we even tell the pros as well as the cons, okay? So he was just telling you there can be some complications such as maybe we can have an allergic reaction to the dye. Oh, when the procedure happened? Yes, yeah, so we will be giving you a test dose. So it, it is just very rare, okay? So it will not happen. So sometimes we can have allergic reaction to die, die. Then sudden stroke we can have or maybe another episode of cardiac arrest or even death can also happen. Oh, then I don't think I have to do this. I, I, I don't want to do this, please. Oh, don't worry, Thomas, because you asked me what all are the complications. I just listed out the complications. But these and all are very, very rare and people who have having a, who are more into fatality or in, into a, you know, more lethal condition those are the people who has all these complications but as when it's compared with you you are not having any of those problems so you'll be much more better okay but still i don't i think uh, we should wait uh, so your opinion is that you want to wait for some more time is yes so? so that i can consult some other doctor okay oh, oh. I, I want to take an opinion from my family doctor too okay no problem we certainly understand and we respect your opinions I will definitely wait until and until you take a decision regarding this angiogram because angiogram in total what does it mean is it's just having a view about your heart and to see whether any obstruction is there because already you had a life-threatening situation yeah so to prevent you from another occurrence of this life-threatening situation so if i have a blockage will i get any complication oh uh, yes yeah, so you will need to do a small surgery or we'll be you know putting a stent over it so that's what we do so anyway we need to find out how you know we need to find out the percentage of the blockage mm -hmm. how much it has been blocked we need to find out all those things and then really i'll be able to tell you more about it okay, okay? 
But as I've told you, I want to take a, a second opinion, then I'll get back. To okay, you. no problem. If we certainly understand your mm -hmm. wishes and we certainly understand your decisions and we respect your decision, okay. we will wait until unless you tell us uh, uh, your decision. Okay? All right. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. So here we are with a small explanation for yeah. this role play. So as you have seen from this role play, this patient is completely unaware regarding what angiogram is. Yes. But that's not what I want to tell you all. I want to tell you all about the opinion part. Mm -hmm. The patient has every right to take an opinion, yeah. right? So we have no way or we cannot object the patient by saying you can't take any object, you know, opinion. opinion. We have to respect their mm -hmm. ideas. We have to respect their discussions, their views, yeah. okay? So if in case a patient is telling, I need to take another opinion, you should say, I certainly understand from the situation. I respect your decision. Mm -hmm. And please make an opinion. We'll be waiting for you. So yeah. that's what you need to do. Don't think that if you are trying to, you know, uh, take, take the patient or you're going to tell the patient, okay, go forward, whether you're going to reduce your mark. If you have such type of thoughts, just leave it aside. It was not like that. Where you need to put your leg down and where you need to say, you have to say. When the patient is having an opinion, you can accept that opinion and you can say you can wait also. So this is what I wanted to tell you for this role play. Mm -hmm.